Hi guys. So this is the conclusion paragraph. And this paragraph will repeat your thesis in new words and ease the reader out of your paper. Okay, so first we had to restate the thesis. Our thesis used to be the Milky Way is a galaxy. Specifically, it is a spiral galaxy that can be seen from, the, from Earth's surface. Now, I just reworded it so that it would say, because um, we've already done that whole paper above, all, like the introduction and the three body paragraphs. So I say, in summary, ooh, that's a transition word. In summary, Earth's place in a spiral galaxy called the Milky Way allows us Earthlings to see the other tentacles of stars swirling above us in outer space. So here is the spiral galaxy, the Milky Way, um, and that we can see our own galaxy from here on Earth, even though we're inside of it. Then I decided to, remember, we have to choose another way to move forward. Um, we could do, we could talk about the ways our thesis, our thesis, thesis is supporting details for sure prove that our thesis is true. Um, the possible future of our topic, like the Milky Way, as related to your thesis, um, how your topic relates to the larger community, country, world, or I guess in this case, universe. Um, and then if you have another idea, you're supposed to share it with your teacher. So, all right. So I said, when we look up into the sky, it spreads out all around us. If we were to go out at night, far away from the light pollution of the city, we could see a giant thick river of stars up in the sky. It looks like a magic spell has been cast here by accident. So I'm just getting broader and broader and broader. So I would, we started very specifically talking about the spiral galaxy in the Milky Way and how we can see the tentacles. Now I'm backing us away from that topic bit by bit. And um, I'm even talking about how it's so far away, it almost looks like magic. And then my parting thought is looking up at its beautiful sprawl against the night, it makes one wonder, what if our spiral galaxy spun faster or had more arms? Would it be possible to see two, three, or four arms at one time? draped across the earth at night. Um, all right, so that's the parting thought. And then when you're done, as always, we take our sentences out of the boxes and we connect them to the rest. So, so now I am taking the second set out. And now I'm taking the third set out. Now I'm going to delete the box, the table. So I'm going to go down to delete table. All right. Now I don't need any of these anymore. So I'm going to delete that too. Okay. But like all my other paragraphs, they all are indented. Like someone punched them on the side. So I'm going to press my tab button. I've indented it. Now, the last time we, do you see how this, these sentences are more crowded together than those? Last time we put all of our sentences, this is the line spacing section at 1.5, I believe. All right, now do you see how, uh-oh, these still look different. I think this one is of a larger pitch, size. So I'm going down to 12. Oh, that looks right. Now, I'm going to go farther away. Do you see how this paper goes on to the second page? That is just fine. That's totally fine. It actually means, wow, you did a lot of work. So going over to the next page or splitting in the middle of a paragraph is normal. 